Okay, hello Cloud Gurus. There's a third availability zone now available in London. There's a new auto scaling service. Lambda now supports Go. The security specialty is now available to take and we announced the winner of Guru of the Week. I'm Ryan Cronenberg and you're watching AWS This Week. So here we are out the front of Windsor Castle and we're filming here this week to celebrate the 50th availability zone that has been launched inside London. It's the third AZ now available in London. And since the London region launched, lots of public sector companies have moved to AWS. Some of my closest friends work at AWS in the public sector, advising agencies like the Met Office, the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Agency or DVLA, uh, as well as a whole bunch of others. And this is going to give you a whole bunch of flexibility to architect highly scalable and fault-tolerant applications that run across multiple AZs in the UK. So AWS have launched a new auto-scaling service. So I know what you're thinking, how is auto-scaling new? Hasn't it been around since forever? Well, yes, for EC2, it's been around since 2006. It's almost as old as EC2 itself. Last year, Amazon released auto-scaling for DynamoDB, and now they have a new UI that shows auto-scaling features for multiple AWS services. So this includes auto-scaling groups, EC2 spot fleets, ECS tasks, DynamoDB tables, DynamoDB global secondary indexes, Aurora replicas, etc. And you no longer need to set up alarms and scaling actions for each resource or each service. Instead, you simply point AWS auto scaling at your application, select the services and resources of interest, and you then select how high you want to scale. It's pretty awesome and it's available now. So Lambda now supports Go. To use this, you simply upload your Go executable artifact as a zip file and select the Go One runtime. And you can use Go's native tools and build and package your code. It's now available in all regions where Lambda is supported. So the security specialty beta exam is now available. I actually sat the exam first thing on Monday morning. It is quite challenging. It's halfway between an associate and a professional exam. There's lots of problem solving. Um, it's kind of like doing a big puzzle. It is actually lots of fun. And it has all these services you would expect. So IAM, KMS, AWS Config, Cloud HSM, security groups, network ACLs, etc. We have made a five minute video blog about it, uh, me talking about it in a lot more detail. The link is below. Make sure you go check it out. Definitely go sit it. it it is lots of fun to do. Okay, so we're now we're going to announce the winner of Guru of the Week, and the intended correct answers were C and D, and to find out uh, why, check out the link below to our discussion forums. We actually wrote that question a few months ago, and when we wrote it, Docker support for Windows wasn't available. It has now recently been released, and Daniel Furman made an interesting case for answer A, and this may also be correct now. However, the best answer and explanation was by Rahul Sarika. Rahul, you've got an exclusive t-shirt, sticker, and hand sign card by me out in, to you in the post and you're also in the draw to win a free ticket to reinvent 2018. We've got a new question now live on our Facebook. Again, the link is below. So keep being awesome Cloud Gurus and I'll see you next week.